Yeah, I think now we are recording. And yeah, because of the yeah, overlap, uh, we are very pleased that Douglas is here now for three weeks. Yeah, so we can work together, discuss together. And it's very good to start with a presentation yeah, of, of the work he has been doing so far and the plans for the collaboration. Uh, Douglas, the floor is yours. Please go ahead. Thank you, Professor. And hello, everyone, again, and welcome to my presentation. I would like to thank you, Professor Erdogan, for uh, accepting. It's a bit difficult to hear those. Yeah, what I will do is I will put my laptop closer to Douglas. Uh, is it good now? Can you talk? Is it good now? Little bit better, little bit better. Please try, try, try to talk loud enough. Okay, uh, hello again. Uh, I hope uh, you can hear me now a little bit uh, better. Uh, I am taking to Professor Rostrom for except me as a visiting researcher for three weeks uh, to you that. And my name is Doj Güler, and today I would like to talk about the 3D restoration of condominium rights uh, for Turkey using beam IFC in the context of the cyclical process. And I would like to start with the Short introduction about myself. Uh, I have bachelor's and master of science degrees uh, from the geometrics engineering department of Istanbul Technical University, uh, Turkey. And I also started uh, my PhD at 2017 at the same department. And I'm also working as a research and teaching assistant at the same department since uh, 2018 and I was a visiting researcher uh, for a year at the geography department of uh, University of Colorado Boulder USA and uh, through the international research scholarships for research assistance by the Turkey Council of Higher Education and recently I got a, a FIG Foundation PhD scholarship and Thanks to this scholarship, uh, I am here uh, for a visit, research visit. And my research interests are TD land administration and GIS uh, aided urban planning, mainly. First, I would like to start with uh, some problem description, uh, descriptions uh, regarding my uh, doctoral study topic. And first of all, we can uh, mention the building permit issuing as a part of special planning. Uh, today, uh, mainly two-dimensional models uh, are used, even though 3D models of buildings are available. And also, we can mention that there's a need for digitalization and automation. And regarding building permit issuing, we can uh, note some insufficient issues. Uh, for example, lack of transparency, heavy paper workload, uh, slow review procedures, and manual compliance checking. And also, we know that the adoption, beam adoption uh, is increasing worldwide. For example, figure shows the beam adoption over time at uh, last 10 years in the uh, United Kingdom. And uh, for example, uh, 2011, this uh, adaption ratio was uh, only 13%, but uh, it increased uh, 73% at 2020. And secondly, uh, we can mention the 3D ST models uh, because these uh, models are helpful in different applications such as facility management, infrastructure management, energy demand estimation, and property valuation. And it is important to note that uh, uh, it should be uh, ensured the updateness of uh, these 3D models. And we can also mention the integration between uh, geography information systems and building information modeling uh, domains. 
And also we can note that there is a need for 3D models compatible with international standards. And also we know that uh, there are some issues uh, regarding transformation between uh, international data standards, such as transformation from IFC to STGML or STJSON. And thirdly, uh, we can talk about the 3D registration of condominiums or real property rights. Uh, today, land administration systems are mainly based on uh, two-dimensional based registration or uh, 2D data. And uh, we can note that insufficient depiction of ownership rights, rights in multi-part buildings. And these uh, land administration systems uh, mainly uh, benefits, benefit from computer-aided design drawings or PDF files. And it is important to note that uh, there is a need for digital integration with building permitting. And there is a need for uh, 3D models formatted with international standards such as AFC. And 3D registration of condominiums uh, is important part of 3D land administration. And in light of uh, this information, uh, first of all, uh, we uh, focus on the uh, peer review study uh, regarding these three topics. And we uh, and uh, we concluded that from uh, this review study, researchers in most of the previous studies mentioned in their papers separate to that, it will be helpful if these topics are integrated. And we uh, I concluded that a cycle that integrates uh, these three topics as digital building permit procedures, 3D model updating, and 3D registration of property ownership. I'm sorry. And this cycle uh, enables efficient interrelation between digital building permit procedures, 3D model updating, and 3D registration of property ownership by contributing to the exchanging, updating, and storing the information digitally. And in this slide, uh, we can uh, see the figure that uh, shows the vision of the three-party cycle. Uh, cycle uh, the cycle starts with the dem uh, demand for land parcel, and it continues for the request for supporting documents. And the uh, uh, it continues with the building design in BIM as IFC. The next step is the verification of the uh, IFC data. And uh, it continues uh, with the checking uh, if uh, building permission is uh, required. If the answer is yes, the next step is the issuing a building permit. Uh, if after that, uh, it uh, cycle continues uh, to check design is acceptable or not. If the uh, design is not acceptable, uh, the cycle goes back to a building design. And otherwise, uh, it continues with the construction permit. And the next step is to check if uh, there any changes, uh, there is any changes in the design. And if the answer is yes, uh, cycle again goes back to the building permit issuing. If the answer is no, uh, it continues with the construction build. And the next step is, is to obtaining the as built model as IFC after a construction completed uh, at this, stage, uh, the cycle separates two different ways. Uh, one of these ways uh, is related to uh, updating the 3D uh, city models. And uh, regarding this uh, part, uh, it continues with the conversion of the IFC data to STGML data. And then it continues with the verification of STGML. And uh, the, in the next step, uh, it checks 
uh, whether uh, verification is acceptable or not. And if uh, it is acceptable, uh, the cycle uh, concludes uh, this part uh, by updating the 3D national uh, database. Uh, on the uh, other part, cycle continues with the issuing a occupancy permit, and then uh, there will be a land use conversion uh, in the uh, parcel, and it continues with the registration of ownership, and in the next step, it uh, checks if the uh, cadastral database is IFC or CGML data, and then based on the uh, uh, data selection, it uh, concludes with the registration of cadastral database. And uh, we can mention some uh, conclusions or discussions uh, in this uh, review uh, study. For example, the adaptation of building firm, digital building permitting uh, differs among countries. However, it is agreed with that digital building permitting can facilitate and enhance the related processes. Also, we can mention that automatic uh, building design checking is an important factor that contributes to the digitalization of the building permit procedures. And it is important to note that uh, code checking can be applied to building designs during their uh, development phase instead of the final state so that cumulative errors can be prevented. And the interrelations uh, between GIS and BIM-based models can be efficient to um, compressively check the rules. Also, uh, web-based systems that evolve from uh, e-submission applications are highly needed and important for efficient implementation of digital building permitting as part of the digital government transi transition and uh, strengthen Strengthen the harmonization between open standards uh, is pivotal. And we can note that a few studies directly mention updating the 3D building models by means of as built beam models. And also, we can note that the literature mostly concentrates on the transformation of IFC data to CGML data through exploiting the application domain extension mechanism of the CGML common name. And uh, we can highlight that the, the coordinate transformation, georeferencing, and database management are of significance for better integration of uh, BIM-based models to GIS environments. And also a great number of research concentrates on exploiting the BIM models. And we can note that the standards that ensure interoperability are of significance for 3D registration of ownership, digital building permit procedures, and 3D system model updating as well. And Lastly, we can uh, underline that the interoperability of land infra with CGML and IFC is an important example for this issue. And uh, we prepare a paper regarding the results of uh, this part of the doctoral study. And we recently submitted a minor revision for this paper, and I hope it will be published soon. And after that, we focus on how or if uh, this cycle process can be applied uh, in Turkey. And at this point, uh, I would like to mention some uh, issues uh, regarding cycle in Turkey. For example, uh, it is uh, mentioned in the uh, latest strategic plan of the Minister of Environment, Urbanization and Climate Change. Uh, it is important to facilitate the building permit issuing. And also uh, it is uh, mentioned in the first time uh, in the latest smart city strategy and action plan of uh, the same ministry is that the uh, beam based building permit procedures. And also the it is mentioned in the latest development plan of the country, uh, the necessity of the digital transformation and we can note that building permitting is an important element of e-government transformation. And in Turkey, uh, there is a project called e-plan uh, that aims to uh, collect and store the 
uh, zoning plans uh, digitally. And uh, we can note that there are two main and important uh, legal documents regarding building permit issuing, uh, which are zoning law and plant areas zoning regulation. And also uh, at uh, top right, we can see the figure that shows the uh, total number of issued building permits and occupancy permits at last uh, 10 years in Turkey. And we can say that the building permit issuing uh, is an, uh, one of the important public services. Uh, and also uh, there is an ongoing project in Turkey called Turkey National Geography Information System, uh, which is led by General Directorate of the Geography Information Systems. This uh, project aims to create national special data infrastructure throughout the country. And it aims to create special data schemas, including building and cadastro teams. And it aims to uh, generate uh, these data schemas uh, that are compatible with international standards, such as STGML and indoor GML. And also, there is an ongoing project called 3D Urban Models and Cadastro Project, uh, which is led by General Directorate of Land Registry and Cadastro. And in this study, uh, the CAT uh, models of the existing uh, buildings is converted to the STGML uh, format to show the uh, cadastral rights within building in 3D. And also, uh, it is mentioned in the building team document that uh, there will be a building information repository uh, that uh, stores the IFC data of all of the old buildings in Turkey. And uh, it is uh, highlighted in the uh, smart strategy and action plan. It is important to increase the maturity, maturity level of GIS as a, a smart city comp component. And the main law is the condominium law in Turkey uh, regarding 3D or the registration of condominium rights. And at uh, right top, uh, we can see the figure that shows the building permit procedures in Turkey. The, these procedures uh, are similar to other countries. It starts with the building permit submission, then continues with the compliance checking and composition of building permit. And the next step is the construction and inspection of the building. And it concludes with the completion of construction and composition of occupancy permit. And in light of this uh, information, we uh, evaluated the, uh, how this cycle can be uh, applied uh, in Turkey. And we uh, proposed a conceptual framework uh, that is similar to the tripartite cycle, but uh, it specify a little bit for Turkey. For example, it contains different databases for Turkey, such as Turkey National Cadastral Database, Turkey National Zoning Plan Database, a Turkey National Geography Information System, and Turkey National 3D Building and Urban Database. And this uh, framework. Uh, enables the use of digital building models, and it also enables automatic or semi-automatic compliance checking, and it uh, allows for uh, multi-party building design due to accessibility for the various spatial data, and uh, it enables to obtain the as-built models in IFC format, and uh, it provides an ambiguous representation of condominium rights, and it also enables to update the 3D city models uh, thanks to uh, as built models. And we uh, prepared a paper uh, regarding this part of the, uh, my doctoral study uh, as a reformative framework for processes from building permit issuing to property ownership in Turkey, uh, which is uh, published in land use policy last year. And after that, we uh, focus on the uh, 3D registration of condominium rights in Turkey as uh, part one part of the 3 cycle. And 
uh, we focus on the connection between between willing parametric and the registration of uh, condominium rights uh, because uh, it is uh, mandated uh, in the condominium law that uh, the occupancy permit and approved architectural project uh, should be used in the registration of condominium rights. And in the slide, a uh, figure shows the uh, workflow uh, for the uh, study in this part of the research. It starts with the conceptual modeling for the representation of condominium rights. It continues obtaining the driving uh, plan of a floor. And the next step uh, is modeling of a floor in building using the motoring tool. And then it continues with the uh, creating the spaces and zones in beam authoring tool. And then uh, it has new property sets that correspond to features in conceptual model, model to relevant entities. And then uh, it continues with uh, the exporting 3D model as IFC, and it concludes with the visualization uh, of the semantic data in property sets in beam uh, viewer tool. And uh, it is important to note that the second and third steps are omitted in the case of obtaining the as built, uh, as built uh, beam of building. And uh, figure uh, shows that initial concept conceptual model for the 3D uh, registration of condominium rights in Turkey. This model is uh, aligned with the LADM standard. And for example, TR uh, registration unit feature represents the basic administrative unit that is divided legally. And TR annex uh, feature uh, is used to express accessory parts in a building. And TR common facility uh, represents the common places in a building. And TR condominium unit uh, feature is used to model apartments in the building. And also we can note that TR building can have TR condominium unit depending on whether the condominium is established. And in this study, we uh, benefited from IFC 482 to TC1 uh, standard, which is the uh, latest version of uh, IFC schema. And while IFC space represents the legal spaces with respect to a condominium unit annex and common facility, IFC zone have multiple uh, IFC space instances is used to depict the registration unit that might have both condemning unit and annex at the same time. And we can see the table that shows the uh, property set names, property names, property types, and data types to uh, represent the uh, features in the conceptual uh, schema using uh, IFC entities. Uh, for example, uh, TR building property set name has uh, area uh, as a property, and this uh, property can be represented uh, by using IFC property single value property type, and uh, the IFC area measure data type can be used uh, to store the uh, semantic information for this uh, property. And as, as I mentioned before, we first modeled the floor in the V motoring tool, and then we created new property sets and attributes, and we defined the spaces and zones in the model. And then we populated the attributes with information, and then at last to be exported the model as IFC. At uh, bottom left, we can see the representation example for an annex as storage. And at uh, right top, we, top uh, we can see a representation of a common facility in a building as elevator. And at bottom, we can see a, a different common facility example as corridor. And at left, we can see the representation of condominium unit uh, with uh, its uh, attributes such as uh, condominium num number, land share, and valuation date or value. And at uh, right, we can see the registration unit 
a representation uh, that has um, continuum in it and uh, storage as an annex as well. And we can mention some uh, discussions in this part of the research. Uh, for example, uh, we can note that there are different ways of uh, creating new property sets uh, within the B motoring tool. And it differs from the tool in terms of the property and data types that are permitted to generate. For example, uh, the enumer enumeration uh, can be uh, used in Ar ARCHICAD, but uh, for example, uh, in Revit uh, 2019, this is not possible. And also, uh, there are uh, differences regarding using tools that manipulate IFC data via defined functions. Uh, for example, uh, XBIM Toolkit, uh, which is an uh, open source uh, library, uh, can be uh, used to manipulate the IFC data uh, using the uh, defined functions in the library. And also we can mention the some differences among uh, beam authoring tools and weavers regarding IFC version support. Uh, for example, uh, while XBIM Toolkit uh, supports the latest version of the IFC schema, uh, Blender Beam add-on uh, only supports the IFC 4 uh, schema. And uh, in this uh, topic, we can also note that the different data types, the, uh, data types in IFC schema can be used. For example, IFC date time uh, data type can be used instead of IFC text uh, data type. And we can note that there is a need for a detailed guidelines uh, that describes the necessary information for modeling the condominium rights. And at this point, uh, model with definitions uh, can be used to uh, uh, describe the necessary information uh, regarding the 3D registration of condominium rights. And we uh, published a conference paper uh, titled A Conceptual Model for IFC-Based Delineation of Condominium Rights in Turkey Initial Experiments uh, at the uh, latest uh, 3D Geo Info Conference. And uh, as a last part, we focus on uh, the improving the integrated model of LADM and IFC. And uh, figure shows the uh, summarized representation of the IFC schema. As we can see from the uh, figures, uh, there are uh, different entities that can be used to uh, represent the condominium rights uh, in buildings, uh, for example, a IFC building, IFC space, IFC zone, IFC actor, and IFC building element, or uh, IFC slab, IFC door, uh, and IFC wall. And we can uh, note that Article 1 of the Condominium Law states that independent ownership rights can be established by owner or joint owners on the different units such as story, apartment, office, store, cellar, and storage of a constructed building that are suitable to be suitable to use independently and separately. And also according to the same law, a condominium owner can have the right to use on condominium itself and spaces that are attached to the a condominium as well. And annexes can be coal cellar, water tank, garage, uh, electric meter box, or toilet. And this law also states that condominium owners have joined the right to use on shared facilities and spaces uh, that are in the outside of the condominiums in real estate and serve for protection and exploitation. And it is important to note that main walls, beams, columns, uh, curtain walls, floors, ceilings, patios, uh, stairs, elevators, and corridors are examples of uh, shared facilities and spaces. And in this slide, the figure shows the uh, conceptual model that integrates ADM and IFC. Uh, and this figure shows the uh, party and administrative uh, packages. And we can 
not that I have the actor entity that ex expresses the persons or organizations involved in a project can be used to model tier party. More than one IFC actor instances uh, can be modeled as IFC group through the IFC real assigns to group entity. And also IFC document information that is aimed to store metadata information for an external document can be used to represent the TR administrative source class. And IFC zone uh, is an entity that enables to group of multiple spaces. And we can note that the property states related to TR, uh, basic administrative unit, uh, TR RRR, TR responsibility, restriction, right, mortgage, and TR easement can be added to the uh, IFC zone entity. And at that, uh, we can see the code list uh, for this part of the conceptual model. Uh, for example, TR national type can be Turkish public or other. And TR right type uh, can be superficial, uh, also fruit, a uh, right of way or uh, construction services. And in this slide, the figure shows the uh, special package and surveying and representation sub package uh, that are developed. And you can note that IFC site can be used to represent a land parcels. And IFC building entity can be used to delineate a TR building class in the model. And TR main unit, TR annex, and TR shared facility classes can be also represented via IFC space entity. And we can note that the space boundaries can be represented using IFC real space boundary that allows expressing uh, boundaries of spaces virtually or physically through IFC connection surface geometry entity. And the property sets regarding TR main unit, TR annex, and TR uh, shared facility can be added to the uh, IFC space entity, while IFC property single value can be used uh, for the attributes that have a single value, such as integer and string. IFC property enumerated value uh, is suitable for attribute types that can be selected from a defined list. And uh, you can see the uh, figure uh, for the code lists. Uh, for example, TR shared facility type can be elevated corridor, uh, stair, or a uh, gatehouse. And TR annex type can be a uh, water tank, coal cellar, or electric meter box. And also TR building type can be residential, public, or business. And TR unit use type can be public or private, for example. And TR uh, building element ownership can be private ownership or common ownership. And we can uh, note that as it is no land valuation and land development are significant elements of the land administration paradigm. And hence, LADM edition two will cover these elements by containing two parts, namely valuation information model and special planning. And also it is thus important to first highlight that there is a huge potential to estimate values of condominium units by means of IFC models that provide a large amount of information regarding attributes that affect the value. And secondly, it is why to uh, investigate the usability of IFC models for special planning purposes, since the urban planning checks that restrictions are specified in approved zoning plans are one of the first processes between building permitting. And we can note that the consensual model that can uh, benefit from IFC schema and related property states can be extended by taking valuation and special planning paradigms into account. Uh, by doing so, the conceptual model that encompasses all components of 3D land administration can be achieved. And we... Uh, prepared a paper titled 3D de Description of Condemnium Rise in Turkey, uh, Improving the Integrated Model of LADM and IFC. And this paper is uh, submitted as full paper to the uh, next FIG Congress. And uh, this slide shows the uh, other related papers uh, that I am involved regarding the topic uh, in my PhD. And lastly, 
Mm, I can mention the, some ideas and plans, plans between uh, research visits and collaborative uh, work. Uh, regarding BMIFC based 3D lending research in Turkey, uh, discussions and improvements on proposed conception model for Turkey, and extending and improving the work such that it shows the representation of a uh, proposed conceptual model through beam IFC model of an example building and providing discussion on legislative documents in Turkey that include definitions on condominium rights and suggesting improvements for detailed description, cadastral rights, such as who is responsible for which faces of the walls and convertic IFC model to 3D tiles for visualization through cesium. And we can note that regarding a special planning, uh, establishing the connection uh, between permitting and defining data requirements for different data models, uh, for example, IFC, in the context of this special planning part of LADM. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Douglas. Are there okay. any questions here in the room or online? I have a, I have a question. Yeah, please go ahead, Chris. Yeah, Douglas, thank you for your very nice presentation. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, maybe I misunderstood, but what I miss a little bit is the the attention for the uh, underground infrastructure, so cables and pipelines and that type of things. And also for for constructions as as high roads and so on, because uh, I can imagine that that uh, the, such constructions uh, influence the, the process of submission of uh, uh, permits for buildings. But at the other side, that that submission of permits for the construction of the underground infrastructure are influenced by the by the building permits. Eh? So it is a two way uh, connection. Or is all this organized via the zoning plans and, and restrictions? Is, is that the way you pay attention to it? Or is it a completely separated process that, 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 and that may require integration with the process of building permits? Yeah, thank you for your question. And actually, we didn't pay attention to uh, underground objects. Uh, in this research, but uh, as you said, uh, there are uh, important uh, parts of the uh, building permitting also because uh, there can be some restrictions in the underground for to take a, a construction permit or a building permit, uh, for example, and they should be also paid attention. Okay, so that, that will be uh, future research yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. will future work. Yeah, it is, it is good maybe to pay attention to that in your presentations so that it is clear that you finally get what, what Peter always calls a, a full 3D partition of uh, space. Eh? So then, then this, the, the underground infrastructure com comes in, the above ground infrastructure. Uh, maybe maybe it's uh, possible that, that you buy a piece of uh, uh, air yeah? mm -hmm. to avoid that, that uh, your view disappears maybe or something like that. Uh, so it, it, it is good to know that you are aware of that. And, and yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I, I missed that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Thank you uh, for your feedback. Okay, thank you. thank you. This was my question, Peter. Thanks, Chris. Thanks a lot. Any other questions in the room? <laughs> uh, okay, then a question from me to Dobos. Uh, you made this refined model for buildings and the legal aspects in buildings, specifically for Turkey. Is it very different for other countries, do you think? Uh, no, I don't think uh, they are very different. Uh, for example, building permitting is very similar. Uh, worldwide, I think, as this one. Uh, so from the review uh, of the previous studies and works. And also, uh, I can say that the uh, 3D representation can be used uh, for the different 
uh, countries because there are uh, similarities, uh, as we said. Uh, yeah. Uh, for example, uh, Abdul Alaf has worked on a similar model for uh, yeah. Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are some things that are the same, but there are also some differences. Uh, are these, say, caused by the modeler or because the requirements are different? I think uh, a little bit uh, laws uh, are different uh, because uh, different countries uh, can mandate some different uh, ownerships or different uh, detailed representation for the representation of condominium rights in buildings. For example, in Turkey, uh, main walls are uh, common. Uh, has, uh, sorry, uh, have common ownership, and we don't have to look to which side of the walls, uh, who is responsible, which side of the walls, for example. But uh, the condominium law is very old law. Uh, it is mandated in 1965, and things are changing. We have now 3D models, and we can have more uh, detailed representation uh, for the condominium rights in buildings. Yeah. Okay, have your experience and maybe also your experience with Saudi Arabia and other countries and, and the revision of LRDM ongoing. Uh, is it wise to also extend LRDM a little bit with more support for mm -hmm. rights in buildings? Or do you think, okay, it is so different, all these countries with their legislations, that it does not make any sense to, to try to make some kind of international agreement there. And so we are actually here for this question now. <laughs> Should we extend the model uh, of spatial unit and, and legal space building unit or not? And, uh, so yeah, your advice is very welcome here. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think uh, regarding the condominium rights in uh, buildings, uh, most of the uh, countries experience similar uh, representation for the buildings. So uh, the LADM can be uh, extended to cover the uh, requirements of uh, different countries and also uh, we can see from the previous studies uh, similar representation using IFC uh, is uh, experienced in different countries such as Australia, uh, Saudi Arabia, Turkey or in Netherlands and I think uh, it can be we could make a proposal. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah. Make an idea of chair. Okay. But then we have to be quick because <laughs> the revision is ongoing. Uh, maybe in the meantime, other questions. Yeah. Talking about the site here. Yeah? Move it too far away. We cannot hear Dobos anymore. Uh, I have a, a question, yeah, it's yeah. not a question, but uh, maybe like comment. Uh, Thank you, Douglas, very much for the presentation. It was really interesting. And um, yeah, I think there are many similarities with our research also. So following the question from Peter, that you think that um, uh, LADM should be extended in this domain, uh, there is a work from Abdul Alatas in this domain that he has already proposed um, some extensions to the classes. And I think that really it really depends on the legal system how you will... Um, model the common spaces and the private ownership, etc. But uh, if we see it like from practice, we all say that we should have some minimum requirements in those BIM models, Depend, regardless if they're like IC4, 3 or 5 in the future or whatever, uh, how to convince them. I mean, also from your own experience in, um, in uh, uh, Turkey to really follow those and um, actually, uh, these uh, workflows or I want to follow that. I'm also considering it also for myself. Sorry. Uh, 
You didn't hear me. Yeah, yeah, you. Okay. I did. I did. No problem. Uh, 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 the visions or frameworks in this presentation, uh, it's not uh, very uh, applicable right now because uh, the uh, most of the designers use uh, CAD uh, models, CAD data, and the municipalities uh, expect to submit CAD data or 2D uh, data for issuing a building permit. And but uh, also there is a growing interest for BIM in Turkey. And uh, at this point, the uh, municipalities or governments uh, can uh, make some legislative uh, amendments to obtain a, uh, data requirements for the uh, BIM models to be uh, used for the registration of condominium rights, as you said. But uh, I think for Turkey, uh, it will be uh, uh, expected like maybe 10 or 15 years. Maybe related to this, I saw in your slide when it's about say the developments in or mm -hmm. Turkey or the current situation that there was plans for this national registration of BIM IFC models, which I thought, okay, that is very nice. And yeah. if it's really collective and that it can be used. Mm -hmm. uh, but okay, maybe in the beginning it is rather empty, but okay, when time evolves, mm -hmm. you get more and more buildings. Yeah. But assume that this goes well, is there then a reason why you would convert to other formats eh, like city GML, eh, if you would have everything in uh, BIM IFC models nationwide uh, for all the buildings. Is there a reason to convert? I think uh, it is important not that uh, designers use or know any CGML or CJSON data. They use CAD and, or uh, BIM data. And uh, if we have a BIM data, from the digital building permitted, why we don't use this for the registration of condominium? And then, of course, we can uh, convert uh, these IFC data to uh, update the 3D system models. This is then, uh, but what I want to ask are the collection of BIM IFC models not the city model? What is the difference? Uh, why would you have this collection of BIM IFC models, say city model one, and then have a city model two, uh, city GML? I see no real benefit. Yeah, you right. <laughs> yeah, but uh, if I may say, Peter, when we will have the collection of BIM models, we'll have a super detailed collection of models which needs a lot of um, like power and system to maintain it. While, for example, if you have a city model from city DML in lower level of details, you can easily handle it and share it with the people, uh, the public. So maybe we have like a repository for big models nationwide or municipality wide. And then we have easier conversions with the city DML one way or the other way. And we share the more light data, more simplified ones. I'm still worried. <laughs> yeah, of course. So I, I, I would see it as a kind of map generalization. So yeah. you have different levels. You have detailed level, and then you have very overview level, more abstract, and then maybe you have intermediate levels. And somehow in the model, they should be having the same basis. They should be attached to the same object, same building, same spaces in the building. Uh, who, who, who is to convert the IC file into city GML? If the, if the source file, if the IC file comes from the architect to the municipality, 
Abdullah, we don't hear you very well. Sorry. What I'm saying is that uh, the source of the files usually comes from, 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 the, from an agent, from the other. And after we receive it from, from the, the municipality, after receive these files, we'll have a, like a huge amount, a number of, of models to cover the entire city. But after that, who's going to convert it from IFC to CityGML and maintain also this, uh, this step? This is what I'm asking for. Yeah. It's very nice, yes, to have a, to use the CityGML, but actually in reality, our architects will not use CityGML, not now, not even after 10 years, because it's not useful for their, for their business. Is IFC is very short to create the 3D model, extract the, the two, 2D CADs or whatever details they want. But for the city general, uh, architect will not care about the level of details and these things. This is what I'm asking. No push response to that. I'm moving the camera around for most of the sounds. I think uh, the conversion to IFC to CGML. Uh, can be uh, efficient if the uh, municipality or a region uh, already have a CGML database uh, for the uh, CGML model to update the, these uh, already have a database. But uh, uh, I want to say that uh, there is no reason to uh, convert IFC to CGML for the registration of condominium rights in buildings uh, because this is not efficient, of course, because there are some issues between transformation and IFC. As you know, there is no lossless transformation between these data formats. Uh, but uh, of course, if you, the municipality don't have any CGML data, they can be stored only IFC data to manage this uh, 3D uh, cities in 3D. Uh, but as we know, uh, the IFC don't cover the uh, whole of the built environment. Uh, for this reason, we use the CD models like the data bonus in uh, CGML, CGSM, or land infra. Uh, for example, land infra is proposed to uh, integrate the IFC and the GML. Uh, it is a integrated uh, format, but uh, it is not uh, widely used. As I know, uh, there are some uh, issues. Uh, this is another topic. And yeah. Okay, thanks. We have time for one or two last questions. Okay, I, I was wondering about the integration you made between uh, LRDM and, and IFC. Very, very nice. Uh, and sometimes we worry a lot about okay, what is the physical object and what are the legal spaces. Mm -hmm. Is it say uh, fair to say that everything with IFC is physical object, physical spaces, and everything with LRDM is they the legal side or? Do we have also the double geometries, one for the legal space and one for the physical object? Do they share these geometries? I think they shared because IFC as space uh, represents the logical space, exactly like the inside of the, this room, there is no uh, uh, geometry uh, for the IFC space. And also the IFC is own entity. It's only groups the uh, multiple IFCs yeah. in logical way. Uh, but uh, also there are entities like the IFC rel space boundary to uh, <clears throat> represent the uh, faces of the wall. And this, these are the uh, geometric, uh, geometrical uh, entities. And yeah, uh, there are two of yeah, them. Yeah. I can't say that. Okay, last question for the audience online or in the room. 
last opportunity? <laughs> no. No. Okay, then I would like to thank Douglas very thank much you. for his presentation. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah, very much welcome. Uh, the next uh, couple of weeks, I'm sure there will be uh, good and close collaboration yeah. given the closeness of the topics. Thanks to everybody online. Thank you. Over here, we have nice stuff. <laughs> nice. And so we, uh, we enjoyed them. Uh, Michaela, you are nearby, so I will come by your office. Definitely. That <laughs> was my plan already in any case. I guess, sorry, I, I was able to join in very late due to other meetings. But I guess you're here, so I, I really would, want, would uh, uh, love to have just a quick chat now uh, in the corridor. And, and yes, Turkish delights are always extremely yeah. welcome. <laughs> yeah, really delightful. Okay, bye-bye, yeah. everybody. Bye. Bye-bye, and bye. success. Bye-bye. Oh, you are sharing the screen, huh? not anymore. No, no, no. 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 But...